the rescue squads were on the westbound side of the crash scene. So those rescue squads headed west and got off at the Willow Road interchange. Thus, they went to Abington, St. Mary's, or to Doylestown. Any of the injuries Ooh. that would be on the westbound side, maybe from the first uh, few cars, would have been able to exit in Philadelphia. And then when they, of course, would have went to area there in northeast Philadelphia. Now, in addition to the closure point, this is causing a huge domino effect on a lot of our other major roadways. The southbound lanes of the Northeast Convention are closed at Mid County. So everyone coming to the Mid County. They're closed in Mid County and you're forced to go west out toward Valley Forge. Again, that's between the from a further I told you someone it was east. Uh, Valley Forge went over there. There are folks stuck for a while in between the accident scene. They got some concern. Back to Willow Grove. Route 309, which is on the Fort Washington interchange. Traffic is jammed in both directions there. And, of course, 611, also the Willow Grove interchange. Traffic is backed up in both directions. Oh, we heard from uh, Steve, one of the vehicles involved in the crash. He said the tractor trailer that hit him hmm. was leaking fuel. That has to also be a concern for not only the medics, the firefighters, but also for the folks that are stuck in this traffic here. The last thing you want to do is have that diesel fuel get ignited when there's really nowhere to go. And we really haven't seen a lot of fire trucks. We've seen one or two, more so rescue squads. I also been told that there is a medical helicopter that is on.